pitafanatics.com. Enter password. I am Pita's wife123. Wrong password. I am Pita's wife123. That isn't the wrong password. I am Pita's wife123. Fine, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reset my password. I guess if that's the wrong password, I'm just, okay. New password, Pita's wife123. New password can't be old password. Today's video, I'm actually gonna try to keep this under 15 minutes. A lot of my videos are longer, so I know a lot of you love those, and I love that you love those, but I know I have some of you that like the shorter videos too, so this one's for you. So, we're gonna get started with all the pickups that I found at Dollar Tree this week, and I found these. Sometimes my Dollar Tree has these, sometimes they don't. So I feel like this is definitely a new batch, and they are like the knockoff version type of the bigger brand cer cereals. So like this Honey Toasted Oats, I think is supposed to be, you know, a dupe to the Honey Nut Cheerios, you know, Fruit Loops, Frosted Flakes, I forget what this one's called and I forget what this one's called, but if you know what the bigger brand is of these two, comment down below. So I think these are gonna be a great pickup if you're gonna do a care package too, by the way. We're gonna go also in no particular order. The next item is going to be this headband with the bunny ears, you can see it has the yellow. I've purchased these several times in the past, and I recently showed you guys a previous Dollar Tree DIY where I deconstructed this headband, plucked off these ears, and then put them into like a floral arrangement, and then it, you can make it look like there's a little Easter bunny. So I will link that DIY down below, and I really love the yellow ears, but they have them in pink and blue maybe in purple. Then we have these new lollipops that have the bunny faces on it. Is that what, I don't know, bunny faces? You can see they have all the different colors in here. And if you've been watching my hauls, you know what I'm gonna say. I think once you kind of peel back the plastic wrapping and all of that, these could be a really cute arrangement in a tiered tray. So if you're gonna do any sort of spring tray or even in a coffee bar station, these are gonna be cute too. And a care package, gift baskets, Easter baskets. These little lollipops are absolutely darling. I took a trip down the candy aisle, I couldn't help myself. And I found this new package of charm lollipops or charms mini pops and what caught my eye was honest it was the packaging and it was also the fact that it says it's a tropical mix so i love that i love finding anything that has those different flavors so we get pineapple coconut mango madness kiwi cooler strawberry star fruit that is a combination i've never heard before citrus splash and paradise punch there's actually quite a bit of lollipops in this plus it's a huge brand name so the fact that you're getting how many lollipops 35 in here for a dollar i think is a really great price but charms pops in general are pretty inexpensive you can definitely buy these in bulk like at walmart and stuff if there's one product that i like to think i'm a professional at, at dollar tree it's definitely the haribo candies they're just my favorite in general and not because they're sold at dollar tree i literally pick these candies up if i see them anywhere whether it's at hobby lobby or walmart kind of thing but dollar tree has surprised me because they have put out a ton of their other products that i've never seen sold at dollar tree before so we've got the sour streamers here we have the fruit salad. This one might have been around for a little bit. And then we've got sour bites. This one definitely is a new pop-up in the last couple of months at my store. Then we have peaches, which I have seen peaches here and there as well. And that's not even half 
of what Dollar Tree is now selling from the Haribo line. So super amazing to see this line expand at Dollar Tree for a dollar because they're definitely my top favorites. The other thing that I love are these Mentos. These aren't new, but what I really like about them is that they're individually wrapped. And so I bought these so that I could just kind of open this bag up and pour it into my purse and just have these little, you know, candies kind of floating around. Obviously it'd probably just be easier, nicer to keep them in the packaging, but listen, they're gonna tip out, fall out anyways when I open this. So I'm just gonna like sprinkle these into my purse and I love having Mentos, um, around it's like one of those things where i have to have kleenex i have to have a puzzle and i have to have some type of candy in my purse comment down below and let me know what you put in your purse that you cannot like be without that's obviously not something like wallet or keys and next up for the candies are going to be the peeps i get these every year i think they're super cute and I've looked at them in the past from a decorating perspective as well. I've seen a lot of people use peeps in terms of like making wreaths and stuff. And that's a super cute idea. And then you know that my mind instantly went to tiered tray. I don't know why lately. I just keep looking at products from Dollar Tree and thinking tiered tray. But listen, that's what's going on in my mind. So these four are pretty classic. They're sold every year at Dollar Tree. Um, so super cute, love the spring colors, but it's this cotton candy one that I can't remember if they did cotton candy or not in 2020. I feel like the specialty peep was maybe like a birthday cake flavor. I'm not sure, I need to look back at my past videos, but if you remember, comment down below, was it birthday cake or was it cotton candy? So always be on the lookout because every year it's like some sort of specialty peep. So. These are gonna be cute for care packages and all the things, baskets and all the goodies. Listen, after the polar vortex, I decided that looking back at the situation that I was personally in, I felt like I was somewhat prepared and then there were some things that I definitely could have improved on. This obviously, me showing you guys soap doesn't, you know, it's not something that during that time I thought, oh my God, I, I have no, no bar soap. It's just, it kind of sparked me to remember to continue to create my little stockpile. So I decided to pick up some more bars of soap. You can see here that I got several little options and these dial ones, you get two bars. And then like the white one is just a clean rinsing, no drying deodorant soap. It has antibacterial in it. Um, the orange one I think has more of a uh, like silky gentle cleansing. I don't really know. They probably all do the same thing. And then this blue one right here is a spring water scent, but they're all antibacterial because it's you know, dial. So these are just going to be added to my stockpile. This next item is super exciting. I have no idea why I didn't find it when I hauled the pump soap for this. But if you watch all my videos, then you probably remember that a couple of videos ago, I showed you guys that I found a new hand soap and it was the Ocean Breeze. It had the pump and everything and it was the foaming hand soap, but this is the refill bottle for that. I was really excited to find this, so I, I went ahead and got some of these. And then more hand soaps, but these are brand new to Dollar Tree, so I feel like they're probably limited edition in the sense that we might not see them again once they clear off the shelves and are, you know, just everyone picks them up and they're just kind of gone. So these are just really interesting. It kind of has that deodorant look to it. I thought that the the way that they did this styles, I don't know. I honestly don't know how I feel about how this is hand soap. Like I really don't know how I feel about it not having a pump. It's not even calling this a refill of any sort. I mean, obviously it doesn't have to say that. You can use whatever to refill, but it is limited edition. It says that right there. So I did get two of those. And then I also got two of the aloe vera and jasmine. I don't know, do you guys have like an order or an aisle that you just always beeline for? 
but I went and checked out the pens and I found that they put out these big huge brand name right for pens and pencils at Dollar Tree they're pretty consistently sold sometimes I do find that there are like weeks and months where I don't see any big products so anytime that I do see them I always grab them and what really caught my attention was that it says extra smooth I love the extra smooth pens for sure they're definitely my favorite and we have a new Maybelline drop at Dollar Tree so yes Maybelline at Dollar Tree that's absolutely crazy but love it anytime I see big name brands like this come through there so these are going to be your color mascaras super fun I think that these are going to be a great pickup if you want to like hold these on to summertime I think these would be really fun for summertime the colors are stunning I've never seen like a burgundy mascara before and honestly this takes me back to the 90s I don't even remember when color mascara was invented or when it was a thing but for me the first time I ever remember anything about them was in the 90s and it was blue and I thought it was everything and when I wore it I thought I was everything. And when my pager went off, I thought I was everything. But it, it rarely went off, so. And because my niece is getting older to play with all the toys at Dollar Tree, I've been having a blast going down the toy aisle. There for a few years when I was, you know, always doing my Dollar Tree hauls for you guys, you really didn't see very many toys at all. So if you've been with me for a while, then I think you've seen that like transition of me showing more toys lately. But actually this one, I thought of my daughter. So this is Hot Wheels. And no, she's, she doesn't play with Hot Wheels. She's 20, like that's not her thing. She's never played with Hot Wheels, honestly. But what I liked about this one and reminded me of her was that it is a, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles edition. Super cute, has their van, and she does love the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So in her car, she has like a little plush of uh, one of them. I forget. Michelangelo, Donatello, Raphael. I don't know who, who the heck is in her car, okay? It's one of them. But I thought, um, I don't know. We'll see if like maybe she wants to put a little, a little car in her car. I have no idea. But we're gonna try and see what happens. So there's that. Then I found these pearls for the craft. Craft section, crafter square at Dollar Tree. They've been selling pearls a lot, which has been exciting. I think we've seen pearls in this last year but I couldn't remember if this packaging maybe is new because they have sold pearls like in the bigger size, but this is 250 pieces. What? And I might be getting into like making bracelets for myself. Um, so I got these thinking that maybe I might use them to the bracelets I wanna make. So, and if I do do that, you will actually see that on my vlog, just FYI, in case you're kind of like, in case that's piqued your interest in me and you kind of want to see what I'm doing. All right, next up we have magnets. I love Dollar Tree magnets. There's so many on my fridge actually, and these were super cute and I had to show them to you. So these are hilarious. It says, put your positive pants on. And then we've got all the styles. This one is probably my favorite next to the one I'm gonna show you, but I've been talking about bumblebees lately. Now all of a sudden they're freaking everywhere. So super cute. It says sweet as can be. I love that. That's a really interesting twist. I don't think I've seen them do like the pun on the bee bumblebee thing. But these magnets, by the way, I think they're very good. They stick on the fridge really well. They don't slide around. The magnets are very strong. So I've always loved the Dollar Tree magnets. Now this one cracked me up. It says, you're doing it wrong. But when I was at the store, I was like, that's from a movie. And I was like, I've heard that. It's from a movie. Movie. And then I kept replaying this line in my head and I could actually hear the two voices because there's two voices involved that says, you're doing it wrong. And then it just hit me just now what movie it was. And it is Mr. Mom. Uh, when he's in the carpool line and the kid's like, you're doing it wrong. And then he's like, I'm not doing it wrong. And then he rolls down the window and the, the 
you know, parking attendant or whatever she is, whatever she's doing, she's like, you're doing it wrong. I've picked several of these little birdhouses before, but I went ahead and got some more because I think I'm gonna DIY these for a spring DIY. But I do like to pick up these little birdhouses for my niece to paint. And they're just really cute. They're just great for a little craft. You know, you need to keep busy or something. They have all the stuff at Dollar Tree. I mean, the crafter square section has really gotten amazing. They have these um, bird houses, but you can see that they're deconstructed and it's called wood shop. I love the packaging, super cute. And I think these are gonna be a great idea for an Easter gift basket, you know, for the, for the one that loves to like craft and glue and all the popsicle type stuff, this would be a cute item to grab to put into an Easter basket. And that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know a lot of you definitely love my longer videos, but I just wanted to like throw in at least a shorter one um, for, for some of you who do appreciate like the, the shorter videos for sure. So it's definitely for you. Hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys Friday for another Dollar Tree haul. Bye.